All right, well, well, we'll jump in. Alex will talk a little bit about mortgages and interest rates and what it takes to get approved. Thank okay. you, Brad. That was great. Hi, everyone. Hello. Alex Skerr, NAL Financial. Uh, who are we? We are a mortgage broker that has been operating since 2003. A mortgage broker is a little bit different than walking into like a brick and mortar style bank. <clears throat> we are more like a, like a kayak.com of mortgages essentially, where you come to me and I'm able to take a look at your financial situation and then pick a program that works for you. Also able to shop the interest rate around versus just having one bank's programs, I have 20 or 30. So we, we have a much more diverse portfolio of products and that's why I like and prefer that model of a, of a broker. We're based here out of Long Beach as well as Newport Beach. And um, we work with a lot of first time home buyers. We work with a lot of people buying their second, third homes. A lot of investors as well. Very, very diverse. So uh, again, the, the process really starts when you have that interest and that motivation to go out and buy a house. And that's my goal today is to let you know that the, your capabilities are probably better than what you think, right? There's, there's a lot of programs today, interest rates are really low, uh, there's a lot of programs that help you get into a home with lower down payment or with lower credit scores than, than you think you, you need or um, a little bit less income than you think you need. Banks are a little bit less busy now as we've gotten out of the, the real you know, increasing market of 2014, 15, 16. So they got to come up with more ways to get people into homes, more ways to stay busy. The way they do that is they, they make guidelines a little bit less strict. They make programs a little bit more diverse for, for many clients. So um, today we're seeing interest rates, I would say somewhere in the low 4% range. Even for government loans like the VA loan or the FHA loan, we're down under 4%, which is, I, you know, that's, that's close to our historical lows. There's only been a few times in the last six or seven years where rates have been that low. One thing that that's done over the last six to eight months is it's increased people's purchasing power, which is, for example, I'm, I'm doing a, uh, a deal right now for a client with another agent here at Keller Williams that two months ago could only afford 475. But because interest rates have gone down a quarter to half a percent since that time, I'm able to get them into a house around $500,000 with the same payment, right? So please keep that in mind and understand that as rates go lower, your buying power increases. Your payment still stays the same because your, your interest rate is lower. So it, it's something definitely to take a look at and, and consider here in the short term when we have such low rates that right now is a great time to buy. One reason I really like working with the Shannon Jones team is that they are so detailed and, and so good at getting your offer accepted. And when we can work together, it, it really makes our package look awesome and the sellers and the seller's agent are really impressed and know that we're gonna close the deal. So please use that as some motivation. Right now is a great time to, to think about buying. Your, your ability to get a loan is essentially based on three things. Your income, your credit, and the down payment that you have, okay? Right now, income-wise, we can use you, we could use your spouse, we can combine the two of them, we can sometimes bring in a parent, uh, a sister and a brother to help maximize the amount of income that you have. But basically, the banks like to see your debt, including the new house payment, included with the taxes and the insurance, be about 45, maybe 50% at most of what your income is per month. So you can borrow quite a bit of money is, is really what that means. And again, we can help and bring other people in on, on that structure to help build the spread between what you have in debt versus what you have in income. So definitely keep that in mind. The next, uh, the next component is your credit. And, and credit is something that is, you know, people are really sensitive about. There's a lot of questions always on credit. Um, one of the myths, I think that the most important myth in credit is when you go and you're going to get pre-approved, you can take a look at a couple different options. You can take a look at a couple different banks. I encourage most of my clients to do that so that they, when they come back to me and they realize I have the lowest interest rate, they, they feel confident in that. And they talk to a couple other places. If your credit was run one or two or three times in that 30-day stretch, when you went and looked at other options, it only counts as one time. 
So don't feel alarmed if you think, oh, my credit score is getting run 10 times. I'm super nervous that my score is going to go down 50, 50 points. It doesn't happen, okay? So I, I've done this for 10 years, and I, I, I don't see that happen. Really, the only time that your credit would go down because of the amount of inquiries is when you go and get a mortgage and a car and 10 credit cards, and you potentially had some sort of credit event in the past that would show negatively on your credit. So shop your rate around. Be confident that you know that you're getting the, the best interest rate, okay? Uh, credit score minimums, we like to see somewhere around the 580 range. That, that's where we're doing loans. But I, ideally, you're somewhere in the mid sixes as well. It, it's depending on what program that, that you want, how much down payment you have access to really determines the, the, the credit that you're going to need. But 580 is a score that we're working with day in and day out. A lot of those um, down payment assistance programs like to see you somewhere in the 640 range. And, and one thing that uh, I subscribe to and, and can offer clients is we, we work with a company that works on credit repair. So if you've had some past where you didn't make some payments and maybe it's been seven or, or eight years, this credit repair company is able to go in and try to get that off your credit, which significantly helps your score go up. So keep that in mind. If, if credit repair is something that you want to uh, address, we're here to help. Um, the last part about of home purchase, or the last component I think in getting a loan, in, in my opinion here, is the down payment. And the more down payment you have is great, but you don't need any down payment today to get a home. Believe it or not, uh, we have programs through the state of California that offer down payment assistance. One's through the Cal HFA, another program's called the Platinum Program, which is a program for firefighters, nurses, public service employees that offers a grant for your down payment that you don't even have to pay back. So there, there's a plethora of programs that are able to help you get into a home. And I want to encourage you guys to give us a call and get some information on them because it, it really is, it's a benefit to get you into the house, as Brad was saying, and build that equity so that you kind of start, you, you start your steps, you start that savings account so that the next time when you go and you're looking at, at your second house, you have that savings account from that first house. You've built that equity. There's a lot. Of, there's a few tax advantages to owning a home as well, and that gets you in. That starts taking advantage of those tax advantages. So, down payment is a is a big component. We don't need any of it. It's nice to have. We can also get it from a parent. We can get it from an aunt and uncle. You can go and borrow from your 401k if you have one of those. That that's something that I see and I recommend people do. You just pay yourself back through your pay stubs. So um, definitely many, many ways for us to structure the loan, many, many ways for us to figure out what, what's best for you. The, the one piece of homework that I always encourage people to do at the beginning of my pre-approval process is establish a comfort level of payment and then I can build a program that gets you there. So look through your bank statements for the last six months and say if I had $3,000 a month coming out of it, am I okay? Am I still living the lifestyle that I want to live? And then I can come back and tell you, hey, that equates to a $500,000 home or a $400,000 home, right? And, and that is what I think is super important for you to establish your comfort level before we even meet. Once we do meet, we'll go through, I take a look at tax returns and pay stubs and, and your financials. I take a look at your down payment uh, potential and we set up a pre-approval once we set up the pre-approval, that's where I deliver you off to Jessica. And that's where she starts taking you around. So um, really, there's, there's a lot of opportunity. Right now is a great time to buy. As you heard in the beginning of this, interest rates are 4%, really, really low. And it, the, the purchasing power that you have right now is, is pretty high. So please give us a call. Let us know what kind of questions you have. I'm here to answer them. Uh, we're here day in and day out for you guys, and we look forward to working with you. Are there any questions? I have a question for you. Shoot. From start to finish, from the time somebody turns in all the information they they need to turn into you to get a pre-approval, how long does it take to get a pre-approval back to them? It's, it's a great question. So what he, what he said was, how long does it take? If someone gives me all their financials, how quickly can I spit out a pre-approval and get them shopping with Jessica? 
there's been situations where I do it in a couple hours. If someone's very, very organized and very detailed and I have their tax returns and pay stubs and W-2s right in front of me, I can, I can do it really quickly. Um, that's my pre-approval. What I usually like to do is actually get the client pre-underwritten, pre, fully pre-approved, and that's about a four to five day process. Okay. So anywhere, if, if we're quick and you like, to, you like a house on a Saturday and you give me a call on a Saturday and I can take a look at your financials, I can tell you right then and there that it's looking good. So, um, but generally speaking, it's about a week process. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the questions that we get a lot, Alex, and I think someone had actually submitted this who wasn't able to come, was, um, I have terrible credit. My, no, I don't personally, but many people do. <laughs> uh, and so if your credit isn't at that 580, let's say that you've had some, um, you know, unfortunate circumstances in sure. the past and maybe had a bankruptcy or a short sale um, or just got behind on your bills. Maybe there was a, a medical problem. Um, what's the process for um, improving the credit? Is that something you can help with or refer them to someone to help with? Definitely. Just from my experience in seeing different credit reports across the different clients that I work with, I, I have a de decent depth of knowledge of, of credit and, and what it takes to get it up. But I do have a, a repair company that I work with that has proven to be very successful in, in helping people in that situation either get derogatory things removed from their credit um, or helping them reach out to past creditors and, and realizing that there was some mistakes on it. So that would be usually what I do in that situation is refer them out to a, a credit repair company that I work with. Each loan has specific timelines from the, the date that one of those credit events happens to the date that you can process it. For instance, a foreclosure, you can do an FHA loan three years after you've had a foreclosure. You can do a conventional loan seven years after. Uh, a short sale as well, three years after. So a lot of the time, it, it's a potential, just a, a waiting game to get us back into the market. Uh, one of the best ways is to just go out and actually try to get another credit card and, and start proving to the bank, start proving to the creditors that you were able to take on a little risk and, and handle that risk and pay it off. The, the most and the quickest way to raise your credit score, believe it or not, is usually to decrease the balance versus the limit of your credit cards. That's, I've raised people's score 50 points, 60 points by just decreasing the balance of their credit cards versus the limit. So they, the, the creditors just want to see that you have the ability to take risk and you're just not really taking all of that risk. Or you've taken it and you've paid it off. You've taken it again and you've paid it off. So that, that would be something that I would focus on. If you can go out and get another, uh, take a chance on a credit card uh, and pay it down. Or just use some gas, buy some gas on it and then not use it again for a while. That's just going to show that you have some new good credit history. So, but. Takeaway is, come talk to me, come talk to my credit repair specialist, and we'll get you on a game plan that, that works with your timeline as well. Thank you, a great question. Um, another credit-related question. Um, I had someone recently uh, tell me that he was waiting to buy a home because his credit score was only 760, and he didn't want to buy until it was 800. Mm. Is there any benefit to having a credit score above 760 in terms of the rates that you'll pay? Another great question. It, it really depends on the loan amount. So if I've seen lo loan amounts under around seven, 720 grand, 740 and above is excellent. But when you start to get into the million dollar range or the million and a half dollar range, sometimes they incentivize you to have 760, 780, 800. But it's really minimal. And I don't. I, I think the the increase in the homes that you're going to see is not going to. You're not, the benefit that you would receive from that little bit of incremental in, uh, decrease in your rate from a higher credit score isn't going to offset the increase that you're potentially going to see in the homes that you're after. So I wouldn't recommend that person to wait in that instance. But there is very very incremental potential increase in uh, or decrease in your rate in like a million, two million dollar loan space with an 800 credit score versus 760. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one question I get a lot is um, people want to know how long the pre-approval lasts then. Wonderful. So 
a, a couple answers. Usually I tell my clients that that pre-approval is good for as long as you have your job and you keep paying your bills on time. But through that process, as Jessica is taking you around to look at houses, I'm going to continually get updates with your pay stubs, continually get updates with um, your, your bank statements to make sure that we're still sitting pretty. But usually somewhere between 90 days, 60 to 90 days, if I haven't heard from you and you just kind of took a little break and, and you came back, I'd love to, to revisit it. But generally speaking, I'm going to keep in touch with you every, every you know, week or two and just say, hey, how you doing? This is what we're good at. This is where we're staying. Rates have gone down a quarter percent, so we actually can buy more. Or rates have gone up a quarter percent. We're, we're sitting here in, in this price point. Um, but usually, if you keep your job and you pay your bills on time, that, that, that pre-approval is good. I'm not taking you to your max, max, max right at the beginning of it, you know? So we have a little bit of a wiggle room there. Cool. Yeah? Great question. That's what I Good. Um, Any other questions? That is all I have. We have some flyers. We have some uh, information on timelines and, and on those, those low down payment uh, programs. So please reach out to us. Let us know. There's a plethora of, of opportunity right now for you guys, and we would be really happy and love to help you.